Today we're gonna make the Golden Barnacle from Shannon Mustafer's Tiki Modern Tropical Cocktails. Now the drink looks unassuming, but every single thing in here is an intense flavor. For instance, we're gonna be using Nissan Rum Agricole Blanc, Dr. Bird Rum, and the Hamilton Pimento Dram. You'll also need Shannon Mustafer's Don's Mix. Now your traditional Don's mix would be two parts of grapefruit juice to one part of cinnamon syrup, but in Shannon Mustafer's book, she calls for one part of grapefruit to one part of a cinnamon honey syrup. Now in this recipe, we'll need one ounce, so I'm just converting that to half an ounce of grapefruit and a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup and then a quarter ounce of honey syrup. Now I will be flash blending this, and I know many of you are hyper-focused on the details, which I do respect, but a couple of things here. First of all, the ice that I use here is not always gonna be the same as what a book might call for. A lot of times books call for small or medium ice cubes, which I don't keep. I usually have either the two inch large clear ice cubes or nugget ice. So sometimes when I'm shaking, I'll use one of the large ones and then uh, maybe like a quarter, half a cup of nugget ice. Uh, since I don't have those small ones in something like this, I'll use just the nugget ice. Second, this question came up recently about uh, someone who saw me straining some of my juices into the shaker tin. And I thought that was a really good question. Why I do it? Uh, am I not changing the, the texture of the drink by removing the pulp? And I am changing the texture by removing some of the pulp, but I don't like a lot of pulp from grapefruit juice or orange juice. And the juicer I use when you're having or quartering your grapefruit or oranges kind of produces more uh, pulp. So I like to strain that out. Uh, also when I'm using lemons, uh, since I'm not straining it at the end uh, after shaking it with one of my strainers, uh, you might get some seeds in there. So using the strainer uh, catches those seeds at first, but this is all just preference. If you like texture and uh, maybe like a little bit slightly chewier drink, you might want to include the pulp. But for me, uh, it just depends on what it is and, and the juice. Um, usually for, for lime juice, I generally don't care. But when it comes to those really pulpy juices, I like to strain them. So we're gonna build this in a drink mixer tin, starting with half an ounce of fresh lime juice, one ounce of Dawn's mix, or half an ounce of grapefruit juice, a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup, a quarter ounce of honey syrup, half an ounce of pimento dram, half an ounce of a pot still Jamaican rum, and one ounce of a rum agricole block. And next we'll flash blend this. All right, let's try the golden barnacle. And that's like intensely rum agricole and Dr. Bird sort of playing off each other, that sort of bright grassiness and that intense Jamaican funk and acidity to balance it out. With a, a cocktail that has like, you know, this few ingredients compared to other ones, you wouldn't think it would like be as robust as it is, but it really is. And that's because as I mentioned, what we're putting in here, it's kind of the more intense versions. Uh, Nissan uh, Agricole Blanc, I feel like that's a little bit more intense of a grassy flavor. Obviously, uh, Dr. Burn anything, it's gonna be like very intense pot still rum. The one I'm using is a like a bitters and bottles from San Francisco, it's like one of their picks or something a little slightly different that uses Madeira cast, so it's not the original one, but still tons of like Dr. Bird flavor. And then even our pimento dram is more flavorful than something like St. Elizabeth. All that comes together here and it's balanced out by the fruit juices. Now back to that pimento dram. Uh, pimento dram and allspice dram are the same thing. So uh, allspice and pimento, pimento is what they would call it in Jamaica, they're the same thing. But that Hamilton pimento dram, it has that allspice pimento flavor, but then you have uh, a way more, uh, way more intense rum as the background than you would from St. Elizabeth. Even though St. Elizabeth does use a uh, pot still rum, it's just, 
there's more rum coming through in the Hamilton Pimento Dram than, than other ones. And while this video is not sponsored, uh, I get a lot of my glassware from Crate and Barrel. Uh, their stuff's pretty cheap. This is some type of mid-century roly-poly glass from Crate and Barrel. I also registered there for my wedding years ago, so I have a lot of that stuff left over. But if you wanna know where the glass comes from, that's where it's from. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna support the channel more, you can go check out the Patreon page. There's a link in this episode description. Otherwise, see you on the next one.